Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud and I'm your host Harsh Agrawal. Well, uh, this is a video I'm doing after a long time and let's make most out of it. So this video is for all the WordPress users and especially people who like to improve their search engine optimization for more traffic. Um, well, one of the things that we don't really focus on is the internal link. So we already know the importance of backlink from other domain but we, um, we don't really focus on the internal links and that is a big mistake. Now, see an example of Wikipedia. Whenever you open an article of Wikipedia, they have a lot of links and one page of Wikipedia links, links to another 30, 40 pages of Wikipedia. Now that technique is called internal links and that is something you should start focusing on, um, not only for the new blog post, but also for the old blog post. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how you can find blog post which has low internal links, either outgoing internal links or incoming internal links. So for this, we are using uh, our very popular Yoast SEO plugin. However, this feature is available only in the pro version. Uh, and when you have installed the pro version of Yoast SEO, you can enable the text link counter feature um, if you don't know much about Yoast SEO Pro version, do check out my other blog post about this where there you will find all the information about it. So I assume you have already activated the Yoast SEO Premium version. Now what you need to do is go to the uh, post section of your WordPress and here you will find these two things. Uh, you see this column which says number of internal links in this post and number of internal links linking to this post. So this first one shows the number of internal links that you have already added. So here we have to do two things. Number one, uh, click on this to sort the post based on the post which does not have any internal link. So now these are the blog posts and you can see they have zero internal links. That means in this blog post, I have not linked to any other blog post. So what, you, what we can do is like you can simply edit the blog post and start adding more internal links. Now that means it will improve the overall internal link structure. And when you add that, make sure that uh, you, the post that you are linking to is contextually uh, relevant. Now, similarly, you can click on this one, uh, the other one, and you can find post which does not have any other internal link. So now let's say uh, how to take complete backup of blogs for blog it got zero internal link. What I can do is I can copy this uh, blog post and I can find other blog posts on my blog which talks about Blogspot and then I can add this blog post as an internal link. Like I can add in between the blog post saying like, hey, do find out this technique to take back up our blogs or blog or any other ways as long as we are improving the overall link structure of our blog. Now doing this will help you to improve the crawling of your blog user will find more relevant information and most important your the link juice from your higher blog post to a lower blog post will pass overall this will be a very good seo signal and something you should start implementing right away if you have any follow-up question feel free to let me know if you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comment section below i will see you in the next video Bye bye